South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hey guys, this is Jonathan. Today, I will be looking at Korean regional style beer. And specifically today, we're talking about Jeju Wheat Ale. Well, first of all, Jeju is located down south. Uh, it's an island, and a lot of people refer Jeju as Hawaii of South Korea. And Jeju is well known to Jeju is well known for having <laughs> Jeju is nationally well known for having the best quality of orange Jeju orange and this beer this beer <laughs> so it's not gonna be too surprising if you taste that orange and the company purposely did this on the taste so that the customer can feel that Jeju's vibe as soon as you uh, take a sip from the tip of the can. Not can, but the beer inside. Well, Jeju is, well, it's referred to as uh, Hawaii of Korea. It's surrounded by 360 degrees by the sea. It's so beautiful island and a lot of Korean uh, nationwide and a lot of travelers, foreign travelers, to take vacations to Jeju. And I do personally love taking a vacation to Jeju as well. But since it's pandemic, I don't know. okay. So one more interesting thing about the Jeju Wheat Ale: it's collaborated manufactured beer, and between between Brooklyn Brewery and Jeju Beer Company. Stop it! So, well, it's ale, and like I've mentioned, it's not gonna be surprising if you feel and taste that orange fruity flavor from this beer. Stop it! And it's a Korean beer, again, it's highly or heavily carbonated. So, let's take a look. Oh yes, and this is a specific glass from Jeju Beer Company, uh, and I happen to get in hands on these from a friend, again, a great friend. And here we go. Let's take a look at the Jeju Wheat Tail. So yes, um, I've probably said this a lot of times from the previous videos. As you pour the beer into the glass and you see that a lot of tiny little bubbles constantly formulating as you fill up the glass, that means what? Carbonation. One of the distinctive features that represents Korean beer. So for smell, I sense that orange fruity smell. Yes, there's orange. This is that is orange. <laughs> it's slightly goldish, bright yellow, and turbidity. I'd say uh, it's cloudy because you can't see through the glass, and that's important to take note if you are really into beer. And for the taste. So smelling orange and taste is a different thing. There is no such thing as orange taste. 
sweetness, saltiness, sourness, and etc. Those are the tastes. But orange, if you want to express that there is orange presence present in the beer, you have to say you smell orange, not taste orange. So yes, as soon as I took the sniff of the glass, I did smell that orange fruitiness coming off from this liquid and when I poured into the mouth, uh, strong, the, 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 the orange smell becomes more concentrated and the taste, just one more. Well, there's a tiny bit of sour sourness and a bitterness, very tiny. And as it goes to the end taste, I do sense that malt taste. Then, interestingly, uh, that it has a very strong alcohol at the end of the taste, which is quite un unusual for ale, I think. There are two styles in general, uh, if you want to identify big, big, roots of styles of beer, uh, you can pull it into two big factors, uh, two big points. There's lager, there's ale. The differences in between those two, lager and ale, is that one uses hop, which is lager, and which don't. It's ale. Ale uses warm fermentation method without using the hop, and which results with full-bodied and rich in fruity taste. And for this specific beer, Jeju wheat ale, that fruitiness is a Jeju's orange. To further extend the general idea and concept of the ale is that they use the bittering agents to kind of balance that malt. And that's the whole difference. Actually, that's the general difference between the ale and lager. Hop or no hop. If we go in, in detail for this beer, um, it uses the Jeju's orange peels. Uh, that kind of goes instead of hop, which is regularly used for the lager beers. The orange peels are, are placed in during the brewing process in order to kind of increase that concentration of the, the orange scent from the peels. And I'd say this beer successfully have brought the scent, Jeju's distinctive orange scent, and made a whole interesting beer out of a concept. And I think, and I personally think that Brooklyn Brewery and Jeju Company has done a well job in manufacturing a, a, a ale like this. So I'm gonna take one more. <laughs> You know, base beer and how it tastes like. And once you get bored of it, I think you can switch to ale. And then if you get bored of ale, and there's whole more interesting beer that's coming up in the next videos. So this is a very cute level that surrounds a can. It's all in blue. I think it's trying to uh, implicate that it's surrounded by the Jeju Island is surrounded by the ocean, the blue ocean, and there is an orange stripe. And on that orange stripe, I think it's representing that distinctive Jeju's only orange. And in the middle, we see a mountain that's blasting off, and that's Halazan. Halazan is a center mountain, uh, it's a volcanic mountain in the middle of the island. So this is whole Jeju in one. This one can consists of all features of Jeju. Really interesting and put a so much thought in designing the package, designing the level and one more. So if I were to give a score for this beer, I would give three and a half out of five. Although they put so much uh, ideas and great senses into designing the level and bringing that unique taste of Jeju's only orange into the beer. Uh, 
this is not a specifically beer that I look for, I search for actually. Um, well, although it's tasty in a way and it's representing the Jeju's only orange and it's pretty tasty, yes, but it's that end taste that I'm worried about because as you drink, as you take the first sip, you would feel and you would taste that sweetness of the orange, of the Jeju's only orange. But as you go towards the end, as you leave off the, uh, your mouth alone for after a couple of minutes after taking the first sip, there's a strong uh, sense of alcohol. And that alcohol at the end taste is something that I would probably take two points off out of five points. And in the previous videos, I told you about how I don't like the IPA beers because fully concentrated, that unique tastes and odors or scents from the hop gives me headache. And this uh, orange peel based tasty beer kind of gives me headache too, which from the scent because I'm kind of sensitive uh, from the smells too. My nose. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so as soon as the pandemic is over, and I do know from watching users, and I do know that it, these these top living facilities around the world are working hard to find a vaccine to, to fight off and put an end to this disease. And as soon as that happens, and we're all healthy again, and we're open to travel, please visit the Hawaii of Korea, Jeju Island, and. Have a taste and once you do or if you have a local area supermarkets or beer mart or liquor shops and they have Jeju retail please go and buy purchase the Jeju retail and taste it and give me your personal review on Jeju retail and leave me a comment I will be happy to reply back to you maybe we can have a conversation and say hello well guys thank you for watching today's video and I will see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. And this was Jonathan. Bye guys.